Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have even more products to review. I've been buying kind of a lot of makeup and I just want to let you know about it. It is what it is. I've been loving testing new makeup. So yeah, what can I say? At least most of it, it is from the drugstore. So let's start in no particular order and talk about this one. This is the Essence Magic Filter Glow Booster. I'm wearing it today actually. I have it mixed up into a foundation that we'll uh, review in a second. It's okay, nothing special about it. It is similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. It is similar to the Catrice one that I have as well. And I do like it, but it smells kind of not great. At least I don't smell it on my face or something. I do like the packaging of this one more than the Catrice one, but I do like that formula just the tiniest bit more because this one is just a bit too thick in my opinion. So they are both affordable products. So depending on your preferences, what it is more important to you, maybe you are preferring a packaging like this. It is a good and um, affordable product. Let's talk about an SPF because this one impressed me. This is the Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 plus. I think it is the rice and probiotics one. It's amazing. I think this will become my favorite SPF. I've been using the Purito one. That one is incredible, but that one is a bit more glowy. This one is just hydrating and that's it. Not that glowy. So depending on your preferences as well, uh, you could like this one on, or that one more. I'm loving this one and for the summer months, I think this will be great. So I'm very excited that I decided to try it. Let's talk about more Essence products because I bought a bunch of them. So I bought the What The Fake Plumping Lip Filler um, Lip Gloss. This one is a pretty classic formula. It's a bit thicker and a bit like a goopier formula, but I actually find it pretty good. It is plumping, but not very painful and it looks pretty good and is not sticky. The only thing is just don't apply too much or remove the excess if you applied already too much. Um, that is the only thing. If you have just too much on your lips, it will get just the tiniest bit goopy and it could get <laughs> in your mouth <laughs> and on your teeth. But except that if you are applying a normal amount, it will look pretty good and it will wear pretty good. So overall, I'm a bit impressed uh, with this one. It is a pretty good product. Something else from the lips that I tried, it is this one. This is the Catrice Melt and Shine Juicy Lip Balm. This one is, it is a clicky a pen, of course. These uh, kind of products have been very popular, too popular in my opinion. But this product makes sense to be in a packaging like this because when you are applying the product, it's not destroying the shape of the product. The tart one, as example, that one is just getting a bit mushed up in there, which is not the best. So um, yeah, it is a decent lip balm. If you want a lip balm, I actually like this click pen more than the normal uh, twist up kind of lip balm because right now I'm realizing that that kind of packaging is just a bit old fashioned. This one is just a bit newer and kind of refreshing in a way. So I kind of like this product. It's not the most hydrating, incredible lip balm out there, but I like it and it, it, it is nice. I uh, had it in my purse for a bit, so it is a pretty nice product overall. Then I bought this one from Essence and it's not really for me. This is the Brighten Up Banana Powder and it is brightening a bit, but I can't set anything with this. If you have very, very, very dry skin and you don't really need a powder, sure, you can use this one just to mattify everything. If you have a very glowy base and you just want to mattify your skin here and there, you could enjoy this one. For me, I have combo skin and my T-zone is pretty oily. This is not enough. My oils and the uh, oils from the foundation and stuff like that will be seen in like three seconds. So my skin will just eat, <laughs> eat up uh, this powder. So um, 
yeah not my favorite i will maybe just use it on top of other powders as that is okay but i don't really need brightening my under eyes are fine let's talk about the foundation that i'm wearing i bought this one in the mini this is the makeup forever hd skin i have the shade 1 and 14 it is a pretty dark shade for me as you can see i uh, mixed it in with the um, magic filter and uh, i put uh, a lighter <laughs> concealer just to um, make this color work for me but summer is coming i will get a tan i already know that this is matching pretty well with my self tanner as well so that's the reason i bought it in this darker shade and as well i wanted the mini and this is the lightest shade that they were offering in the mini so yeah uh, it is it is worth the hype in my opinion is just looking incredible on the skin and you can build it up to a medium coverage it's great it's wearing incredible i was curious last year about this foundation and i'm happy that i decided to purchase it right now it's just it is a great great foundation is long lasting it has a natural finish so it's not glowy it's not matte just a natural finish and it's just stunning stunning overall let's talk about a perfume actually this is the kayali vanilla candy rock sugar the newest one and i enjoy the smell of this perfume is not my favorite one from kayali i will put the notes right here it is a very sweet scent so if you like marshmallow candy vanilla it is a vanilla based perfume and i love vanilla i don't know what it is about this one it's not my favorite it's not staying on my skin i can't smell it i applied it like maybe an hour ago and I can't really smell it on myself it's not that strong which is a bit unusual I love Kayali it is my favorite brand when it comes to perfumes so this one is just not my favorite so if you like something very sweet you will probably like the scent but it's just not staying that long on me then I purchased this one the baby gut glow liquid highlighter from Essence and i didn't expect to like this one as much as i do it is pretty lovely and this shade is just so cute this is the shade rose and shine and i love it it's great so the only thing you need to apply it in my humble opinion with your finger so what i'm doing usually is just having a bit of product in here just taking my finger and tapping on the cheeks that is the way i'm using the charlie tilbury one as well so it's just the easiest method in my uh, opinion but this one looks great and it's shiny but not um, sparkly it has just a bit of shimmers but it's not glittery and it looks great and it is a great blush topper if you want uh, a color like this and you have skin like mine or even lighter this could uh, maybe be a blush on you it's just beautiful i really like it another product that i do really like it is a blush from the drugstore and i'm very happy that finally i found a blush from the drugstore that i really enjoy this is the catrice air blush but in the glow format because i like a glowy cheek that is what i enjoy so i heard that uh, catrice released some um, glow shades in this one so i am very happy this is the shade rosy love a bunch of rosy product in here this is stunning i really like it it is just a tiny bit uh, powdery that is my only complaint about it but if i am applying some setting spray on top or some highlighter that powderiness is just going away and it is melting into into my skin or if i am uh, blending it out with the sponge afterwards as well it will not look uh, powdery on the skin so i really like it you are mixing up these uh, shades and it is creating the most beautiful rosy glowy shade and is not shimmery at all it looks just so stunning 
another product that I don't really like and I put this one in the fails already is just I regret buying this one this is the essence blend and line long lasting eyeshadow stick that is a joke this is not long lasting I can drink a coffee and this is gone not long lasting at all it's a nice shade I have the coppery shade it is called full of beans it's cute but it's not lasting on the um, lid is not lasting in the waterline it's just gone in minutes it's just a fail in my opinion i don't recommend it at all the lip product that i'm wearing right now this beautiful juicy brown uh, product is the house labs phd hybrid lip glaze gloss from house labs in the shade cocoa i really like this one it looks great first of all but it is an interesting formula the name glaze is just capturing the essence of this one it's just a bit i don't know how to say when you are seeing it in here it looks a bit goopy but it's so shiny and so so beautiful on the lips it's just making everything look smoother and shiny and juicy i really like it it's so so nice and i'm so excited that house labs is available here in romania finally i'm excited so i can't wait to try even more from house labs and finally i purchased this one this is the butter melt bronzer from nyx i'm wearing it today finally it is available in romania they released some blushes as well and i will for sure purchase one of those as well this formula though not my absolute favorite one the color is interesting it is a bit rosy i bought the shade all butter up can pronounce that it will be in the description box with all of these products and everything that i have on my face um this is too dark for me just because this product is pigmented if you are uh, buying this buyer beware this is pigmented so better just go one shade down i uh, kind of regret that i didn't purchase the lightest one but again summer is coming so i will get a bit of tan and i could blend this one out in my opinion it is a bit too pigmented and a bit too hard to blend it's not a bad product it's not a fail but i would have liked it with less pigmentation and that way it would have been uh, more user-friendly easier to blend and i love this packaging it's just a bit better than the normal nyx packagings i am very very happy with it but it will not become my favorite bronzer it's just a bit hard to work with and yeah this was everything i hope this video was helpful and if you liked it and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time